For our topic, we chose Dogman's algorithm and our case study was iris recognition. Dogman's algorithm and specifically iris recognition solves some of the problems associated with more common forms of authentication. The problem with using something you know as a form of authentication, like a password, is that it can be hacked via brute force methods or dictionary attacks. Additionally, it can be forgotten and password strength conflicts directly with ease of use. The problem with using something you have as a form of authentication, like a key card, is that it can be lost, duplicated, or stolen. Using iris recognition and biometrics in general as a form of authentication solves these issues. You can't lose your iris, nor can it be hacked or replicated because Dogman's algorithm is incredibly accurate at differentiating irises. The task is to find the center coordinates of the radius of the iris and the pupil. First, use a 2D Gaussian filter to remove noise from the eye. Then, Dogman's Integro Differential Operator searches for the outline of the iris where there is maximum change in pixel values. Once the iris outer border has been detected, the pupil's center coordinates are found by searching the 10 by 10 neighborhood around the iris center. After the iris and pupil radius are found, iris features are encoded using a 2D Gaber filter. Finally, Hamming distance, based on XORing the bits, is used to find a match. Spencer Woods, an undergraduate pursuing an economics degree, uses his iris recognition functionality with his Samsung Galaxy S9 on a daily basis to unlock his phone. He says, quote, it saves me so much time every day, and it's nice not having to memorize any complicated password. I love that it works in the dark, end quote. Many different organizations have used iris recognition for different purposes. For example, the Indian government has used it as another form of identification alongside fingerprint, and the UAE has used it in their airports to control entry into the country to prevent illegal immigrants and former expellees from entering a country. Most famously, Samsung has added IR-enabled cameras to their Galaxy phones, which allow users to unlock the phone through iris scanning. In 2011, the Indian government launched a massive program to collect the iris patterns of all of its 1.2 billion citizens. To date, more than 540 million people have enrolled in the program, with 1 million more joining every day. Each new iris must be checked against every other in the database to detect and prevent duplication, which means almost 500 trillion iris comparisons each day. This technology is also used in airports around the world. These are our references.